Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am coming to you with another garden transformation. So I did a very, very mini um, kind of patio makeover style video not that long ago, kind of like the beginning of lockdown, I think. Um, I will link it if you guys haven't seen it, but yeah, we're trying to kind of do little bits to our garden to make it more our kind of style. Um, we live in a new build. When I say a new build, it's two years old now and we absolutely love our house and we love the style of it. It's kind of like a modern industrial style house. We have like the red brick, the gray windows. Um, but our garden's always just been very, very bland. It's, I mean, it's nice, but there's just nothing special about it. It's very, very plain, which is obviously very typical of new build houses. Um, and the struggle is that neither myself or Steve are gardeners. We're not garden people. I love being outside and I love using the garden, but this is, this is a challenge for us. Um, so yeah very very experimental so last time when i filmed a video for you guys i actually painted my patio slabs so i showed you um we kind of just had these really cheap patio slabs and they were just the wrong color we have looked at putting down decking replacing the patio slabs it for what we would want it would cost quite a lot of money we don't really um kind of prioritize it in our list of things to do so i thought why not just spend a little bit now kind of make what we have nicer um and then yeah further down the line we can always replace it so i did paint the patio slabs i used coupenol paint i had a couple of issues with it chipping and flaking and the color i said this in the last video was like a little bit too light so let me run you through the plan of what we're going to be tackling today so First things first, actually, what I'm going to start on is the fence. I'm going to be chucking in some kind of like clips of what it's like now. So our whole garden's obviously just like grass, a little bit of patio, and then this fence that goes down on three sides. Um, the fence has never been treated with anything. We're not really against the wood, but it's kind of died and it's gone really grey on some of the panels and they're all very like, they're very different colours. Um, so we thought, do you know what? If we're gonna have to put something on the fence to protect it anyway why don't we sort of go all out and paint it more of a dramatic color so as you'll see um we tried out two different colors one of them is let me try and get this right it's ron seal charcoal gray that's the lighter one it turned out way lighter than we wanted it was a nice color but way way lighter than we'd expected and we were kind of looking on pinterest at all these kind of more like black charcoal gray fences i'm not gonna lie guys i am bricking it it's quite a bold thing to do but we have gone with the ron seal i think it's called black black tudor oak or something which is a fence stain that's kind of like a uh, i think it's like an off black um as you would have seen in the samples i'll put them in here um so yeah first things first is we're going to be painting out the fence a really really dark color I'm gonna chuck in some kind of inspiration photos of what we wanna do because we basically along that whole back fence wanna have like a really nice statement dark fence, but eventually we will have stuff growing up the fence. This is the plan anyway, unless I kill all the plants we're buying. So who knows? But anyway, we were having loads of greenery on that back fence just to kind of break up all the dark. So it may look a little bit dark and blocky to begin with, but we're thinking long term here. So first things first is painting the fence dark. I am also going to be doing um, another coat on the patio slabs. So for this, I actually decided to get um, a Valspar paint mixed up. I didn't know they did masonry paint. And originally the reason why I went with the Cupronol is because I couldn't find any masonry paint that was the shade I wanted. And if you're looking for masonry paint, Valspar have over like 300 colours that you can get made up. So, or you can get it colour matched, I believe. So yeah, we went with Valspar because they had such an amazing range of colours. We ended up going with, well, we're going to be going with Oyster Shoal. Um, so I'm gonna do another, it's very, very similar to what we've already got, but a little bit darker. Um, giving that another coat. 
And then the final thing that we're going to be doing is putting in a flower bed along that whole back fence. So I actually have, um, I don't know if you guys would have seen it or not because it was such an old video, but I actually made some desktops out of like desk tabletops out of scaffold boards. We've had a bit of a shuffle around, move things around, and basically we don't need them anymore. So I have six planks of scaffold board sitting in my garage, screaming for a DIY project. So what I'm gonna be doing is actually doing a very, very slightly raised um, scaffold board flower bed. Any DIY experts, please do not judge me. I am winging this. Um, so who knows how this is gonna turn out, but we just want like a little kind of a little flower bed along the back to kind of break it up and also what we can plant a couple of little things in um, to kind of grow up the fence and just add a little bit more foliage and a bit more kind of interest to the garden because it's just like I said very square and very bland there's just not much going on at the moment so that is the plan I have some plants on the way as well they've not turned up yet fingers crossed they're going to turn up soon but yeah I'm probably just going to time lapse this whole video to be perfectly honest and check back in with you guys at the end. guys so I thought I'd just give you a little update I spent hours <laughs> painting that fence yesterday it took so long so I've managed to do the whole back kind of panel and the right hand kind of side as well I haven't done the left hand side just yet just because it was taking so so long um it's like rough sawn timber so it's very rough and difficult to kind of it doesn't paint on smoothly basically. Steve did come out and help me but he only managed to paint one panel so um, yeah I did majority of it myself and I'm very very tired. So basically the paint that I got says one coat on it and you guys will see it definitely needs two coats. So although this paint was really really cheap it was £12 for nine liters um i like i don't know whether it's just because we're going from very very light to very very dark or what it is like the fence was clean and everything so i don't really know why it needs two coats when it does say one coat so basically i've had to order another tub which i'm doing click and collect with b q which having said this b q are very good because normally it takes a like around 24 hours to get your order ready um and i ordered it at seven o'clock this morning and by 8 15 they had it ready for me to collect so that is what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go out get more paint anyway i just wanted to update you guys before i head to bnq hopefully steve is gonna help me um on his lunch break do a little bit, bit of painting as well i've just been doing some work this morning um, yeah, I really don't want to do more painting today. Right, paint tub number two has been acquired. I didn't show you guys before. This is the one that I got in the black Tudor oak, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start by doing this panel, then wait for that to dry and nip over and then do the second coat and come round.
say, the fence is looking so much better. So all of that and that has had a coat with a brush and then the sprayer. This fence has had two coats with the sprayer and I don't think the coverage is as good, but it's not dry just yet. So we, we shall see how it goes. Um, I actually ended up using both of those massive tubs. Those are each nine liters. Um, and there's literally like the tiniest amount left in that tub. So yeah, used a lot more paint than we were expecting to. If it was one coat, we would have just needed one obviously, but definitely doesn't do what it says on the tin. It was not one coat. Good morning, everyone. So um, I am gonna paint this patio. Just waiting for Steve to come in from his workout so I can shut the boys in the house so they won't um, walk on the paint. Um, and then I'm gonna, while, whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go for a run slash walk um, with Rocky, get my workout in done for the day. And then onto the flower bed later and I am just totally winging this by the way. So yeah, I have no idea how this is turned out. It's gonna turn out. My plants are due to arrive between one and two today. So DPD, don't let me down please. Um, and I also last night on Amazon ordered some solar lights to hang on the fence. So hopefully those should be arriving today as well. So I'm hoping this whole project is gonna be done today, but yeah, I'm just gonna crack on. So I thought I should just give this part of the video a little bit more context because I didn't really narrate what I was doing at the time because to be honest I had no idea I was just winging it. So for the flower bed what I started by doing was measuring exactly how deep I wanted it. So what I did was measure along the fence in regular intervals and I actually had this um, kind of piece of rope that I used as a guide and I stuck it into the ground with just some like kebab skewers because that's all I had at the time. Um, but I basically just wanted to mark out a straight line that went across the whole back of the fence just to make sure that when I did start digging out that I was digging um, a relatively straight line all the way across that was even. So eventually when I did start digging, um, I could just follow along that black kind of rope line and use that as a guide and I didn't dig too deep to begin with I just wanted to dig out a little bit just so I had that line I knew what I was working with and then later on when I wanted to dig down to put the scaffold boards in I could kind of base it off of which part of the fence I was at because the whole um, of our garden isn't actually level so it meant that some scaffold boards needed to be dug down deeper than the rest so I kind of did it um, per scaffold board as I went along each scaffold board that I put in, I used my spirit level to make sure that each of the scaffold board was level. I started off with the middle one and then I kind of worked my way out. And also with each scaffold board, um, I kind of dug down to create the room to put the scaffold board in, but then once I put it in and I was happy and it was level, I kind of used the soil to pack it back in and make sure it wasn't gonna budge. Right, excuse my sweaty face. Um, I have just finished building the flower bed. I did film some of it, but I think my, my camera ran out of battery, so I've been charging the battery. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. I am honestly knackered. It's so typical. The garden's like in the shade now, but it's been in like crazy sunlight all um, afternoon. But anyway, I'll show you what I've done and how I've done it. So this is where we've gotten to so far. Um, so these were just the scaffold boards that we were using from um, the desktops that we had. What's really, really annoying is that basically the whole garden's not level and even like the kickboard on that side of the fence, you could see it and then this side you couldn't, if that makes sense, because the whole garden kind of goes like that. So all of these scaffold boards are level. So literally all I did was just dug down, put these in, made sure they were level with a spirit level, and I've attached each of them with some steel plates so they shouldn't budge. And then I kind of packed in the front bit a little bit, and then obviously packed in all the back again. 
I mean they're not perfectly straight but I don't think they're too bad yeah just to give a little bit more of an edge um, I have to let you know how these work out actually I'll move the box actually because it's in the shade I don't know if they'll be charged up and up enough by this evening but we shall see so yeah we've got the compost out I've got more in the garage as well so I'm just going to start loading this up these up and then put my plants in there these guys right here Day and I did manage to finish the garden yesterday which I'm so happy about um, and I was gonna wrap up this vlog yesterday but I was so tired and covered in dirt so I figured I'd give you guys a proper tour now and the sun's out really really happy I'm not gonna lie when I painted the fence black I was kind of like was this a good idea it is very dark but now that everything else is in we love it, all the finishing touches. I also filmed a little bit last night when the lights were on. So, um, the I've never had solar lights before that have worked. So the solar boxing, also I left it charging the sun, it's reactive to light. So when there's no light, they turn on. So they automatically turn on each night. Um, but I didn't realize when I had them on the fence last night, we have like a lamppost and they weren't turning on because the light from the lamppost was too bright, so they wouldn't turn on. So I've had to reposition the little doodad, but apart from that, they were on for like majority of the night. I got up um, like two o'clock in the morning to go to the toilet and they were still on then. And yeah, they look great. The footage that I filmed last night just does not do it justice. They're so, so pretty, but I will give you a tour now. Like my camera's gonna really struggle to adjust to this light so patio wise obviously i filmed kind of doing this area before i did give the patio another look of paint as you guys would have seen um to be honest that color's still not exactly what i was going for i wanted something a little bit more warm tone like similar to the scaffold boards it's still very light grayish but it is a little bit better than what was there before I gave this plant a, a lick of paint as well because it had some paint splashes on it and it was just a little bit uneven. So I just used like a flat matte black paint on that and I actually repositioned these because I think I had too many in there before. Um, I had six originally, one died. So I've taken out the fifth one and put it in a pot and just got four in there and then topped it up with a little bit more compost. And then this is how the flower bed turned out. 
so it is quite difficult because obviously the garden's kind of on a slope that's why you don't see much scaffolding board here compared to over there but overall really happy considering they were just boards that we had lying around really really happy with how they turned out we used three big bags of compost which was plenty wasn't it you've just upset me because you jumped in my flower bed um and then these ones are ivy and these ones are something else which should get bigger and have white flowers on but long term the ivy should grow up the fence a little bit and kind of break it up a little bit as well but yeah really happy with how the fence turned out and then this is where i've got my little box down there i need to like reposition it later to make sure it gets in the sun a lot but i really like how these lights have turned out and then it's, i don't really want to show this area so it's all nice nice oh dear oh dear um it's still a work in progress me and steve have been talking about um so our patio kind of ends there and it kind of zigs around the corner and then there's stones we've been talking about potentially um let me step back enough maybe taking the stones out there and then maybe up um, just to give us a little bit more then we can fit like a dining table there or something or like more seating around here because this patio is not actually that big and you can't put too much on it because it gets in the way of the bifolds so yeah talking about doing a little bit more work but obviously most of that's just stuff I need to put back in the garage and stuff but overall when you look out I think it looks really good so yeah overall really really chuffed um with how it turned out like I said like after I painted the fence I was very much like oh I don't know if this is gonna turn out how I wanted it to but we are so so happy with it and even in the evening it just looks so cute with all the lights and everything um and that was like a last minute addition as well i literally ordered them like the day before um but yeah so so happy um obviously these are kind of things that like oh another thing that we want to do is add more height to that back fence because it's really low and um it just doesn't feel that private so we want to get maybe you can get like trellising to go across the top so we will do that at some point but we're just trying to do it in little bits kind of spread it out we might do that next year um and like the stones and stuff we might do next year and just kind of do it in little bits but the bits that i did over the last couple of days are things that i just thought look we can just like do these really quickly and they'll make a massive difference and they have and i feel like it just looks far more put together um, and more inviting and just cute so yeah really really excited now the sun's actually decided to come out that we're going to spend more time out here but yeah any links of stuff that I've used um, I'll definitely leave them down below for you guys to check out if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time I will see you guys later Thank you.